This is SAT test one, non-calculator question number 18. College Board gives you a system of equations and asks you to solve for the value of x. I'm going to solve this two ways. First, I'm going to solve the first equation for y, substitute that into the second equation, and use that to solve for x. So if I take x plus y equals negative 9, subtract x from both sides, I get y equals negative 9 minus x. Add the equation x plus 2y equals negative 25. I can substitute this expression in for y to get x plus twice negative 9 minus x equals negative 25. Distributing the 2 to both the negative 9 and the negative x, I get x plus negative 18, which I'm going to call x minus 18, minus 2x equals negative 25. Biggest mistake is failing to distribute the 2 or dropping a negative there. We're good at dropping negatives. Let's add 18 to both sides. x minus 2x is negative x. Negative 25 plus 18 is negative 7. So x equals positive 7. Let's check to see if that works in both equations. 7 plus y equals negative 9, y equals negative 16 if I subtract 7 from both sides. And trying that in the second equation, I have x equals 7 plus twice negative 16 is 7 minus 32. 32 minus 7 is 25, so 7 minus 32 is negative 25, and that is equal to negative 25, so this solution is correct. I'll grid in 7 as my answer. I can also solve this with a linear combination. If I, I want to be left with x, so I'm going to have to eliminate the y, which is not the fastest route for linear combination if I want both coordinates. The second equation was x plus 2y equals negative 25. The first equation, if I multiply through by negative 2, gives me negative 2x minus 2y equals negative 2 times negative 9 is positive 18. And you'll notice this is the same computations I had with substitution. x minus 2x is negative x. Negative 25 plus 18 is negative 7. So x equals positive 7. And we've already checked that, that answer works. This is systems of equations. College Board will ask you typically six of these questions on each SAT. So it's worth practicing a variety of methods. When you finish your SAT, it's good to go back and any systems of equations problem used one method. Try one or two other methods just to improve your proficiency on those and save a little time. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.